All right, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade from spindles like this on your garden tractor to something like this. So this is the stock spindle off of a 1650 Massey. It is three quarter inch in diameter all the way through. This one is actually in pretty decent shape. Uh, the wheel just slides on here. You got the bearing right there, a the bearing right there, and bolt to retain it. Put the wheel on, uh, and it works pretty good. But if you're going to get into heavier stuff like loaders and stuff like that, you'll want something a bit heavier. Um, ideally, you would replace this whole thing with something heavier, uh, like a one inch or whatever. I know the 1655, 1855 have a fabricated front axle and one inch spindle, so that would be a good upgrade too. But uh, we just want to replace this with something uh, a little bit more convenient with the four bolt hubs. And uh, yeah, you could also put a little brace here too to uh, strengthen it some, but it should be plenty strong there. The other spindle I had was all worn. This is why I'm doing this, otherwise I wouldn't bother because this tractor doesn't have a loader on it or anything. But as you can see on this one, it's just fitted on there like so. And four bolt hub, spins freely. Um, as you can see, anyway. So what we'll need is a stub axle like this. Uh, this is much larger diameter than the original. So when you get this here, you'll want to take it apart. And you'll get this here out of it. This is just the hub here. And what we're going to have to do, I've marked the length on it. Uh, you can cut this as long as you want. You can widen out these spindles a bit, but I kind of tried to keep it close. Uh, Basically the edge here is where you're bearing uh, your seal rides. So what I did, I can't remember how I figured out another one. It was a while ago now. But on this one I figured I wanted it uh, five and a quarter inches from the very end to this end here. So I just marked it from that end is five and a quarter right to about, well, there-ish. Actually, I don't know if I actually measured it. I just measured it and marked five and a quarter, so I'd remember. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So we'll stick this in the lathe, and we'll cut it off at five and a quarter inches. And we'll bore it out on the inside, uh, three, quarter, uh, three quarter inch. And we'll want to go long enough that we can stick that inside of it. And then when we, we get that bored out, we'll put a little bit of a chamfer on it. Stick it on the uh, spindle, and we'll weld it around here, and that should hold it fine. And that's a little, little upgrade. So we'll uh, take it over to the lathe now. All right, I got out of here in my lathe and I cut off a chunk just with the sawzall, like so. And I'm just facing it off now so that it's flat and then we'll measure that distance there and make sure we're getting close. Uh, I think once I get it faced off completely, I'm going to bore it out and then we'll finish off the distance that way afterwards. So, moving along. Alright, we got her bored out. Three quarter inch. Um, now I just got to check the distance there. It's a bit past that score mark on this side, so I'll have to take her down a fair bit. Uh, and then I got to chamfer it some too, but where that bluing is still on there, that's where the seal rides, so we can't go past that. So I'll just take some finer measurements, uh, trim her down a little bit shorter, put a chamfer on it, and then we'll be done. And I got to final do a final check on the depth of that hole too. I did it three and a half inches in. And it only needs to be three, so it should be good enough even when we take a little bit off, but we'll double check again anyway. All right, we're back. Just got this fresh off the lathe. There's the finished product. 
Got a pretty good chamfer on the end there. I don't know why it won't focus. But uh, leaves us a little bit of room. A few more of the seal rides where we weld, but uh, should be plenty. You see it's bored out. Not the smoothest finish. I mean, if you really wanted to get you know precise, you could use a reamer and ream it. Uh, Three-quarter reamer, but it's fine for air application. It's pretty tight on this here. I'll have to put heat on it to get it to go on all the way. But uh, yeah, once we get that on all the way, we can weld it right around this washer. I'll have to clean this up, of course, and it'll look just like this one. So that'll be the two sides done. So that's how you upgrade the uh, front spindles on your garden tractor on the cheap. And if you don't have a lathe to do that, you can just take it to a shop. They can do that a lot quicker than I can, probably in half an hour or so. So easy peasy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.